hey what's going on guys today i'm gonna show you how you can create this colorful rain effect on your elementor website i'll show you how you can use this cool effect as a background of your section and also how you can control different options of this effect like the speed the color range of size and so many other things so without further ado let's see how can we make that so here in this page i want to add this range of effect for our this section so for this first of all let's go to the section settings and here we need to add a class with this section so go to the advanced tab and in the css class field let's add this class rain and then we need to add some custom css so let's go to this custom css option and by the way to use this custom css option you have to have the elementor pro so if you didn't have elementor pro you can quickly get this from my link on the description so let's paste our code snippet to here and you also don't need to worry about this code snippet i'll also give that code snippet link on my description so just need to copy that code and directly paste it to here okay so after that here we also need to add some custom javascript code so for this let's go to this widget area and here search for our html widget let's drag this to anywhere of this section and here we need to paste this code and you can see our raindrop has been started to falling so that's really cool right now i also want to show you how we can also control different value of this effect from these options so first of all from this desktop amount option you can control the number of the raindrops so here instead of 300 if i make it to 10 okay now you can see here is only 10 raindrops but i want to make it to 300 and after that here if you look closely to this rainfall you can see the raindrops are falling in different speed so you can also control the speed from this minimum and maximum speed option so instead of one second i want to slow it down to five second and also set the maximum speed to 10 second okay now you can see it looks much smoother and then here is the width option so like the speed here the raindrops are in also different widths so you can see some of them looks really thin and some of them look heavy so we can also define the minimum and maximum width of these drops from here and also the minimum and maximum opacity and lastly here is the color option so from here you can control the color of these raindrops so right now i have only used three color codes for these raindrops so if you want to remove any color from here you just need to remove that line of code from here okay or if you want to add a new color you just need to press enter and put a quotation and after that quotation you need to also put a comma and inside this quotation you just need to paste your desired color code so as example here i want to add the yellow color of this heading so let's go to this heading settings and from the style tab here i need to copy that color code and again go back to our html widget and inside this quotation let's paste that color code okay now you can see the yellow color has been also added to our raindrops so lastly i want to show you another option if we go to this section settings and here we have previously paste this custom css code so at the top of this custom css code from here you can also control the height of this raindrop so instead of 150 if we make it to only 50 pixel you can see it looks much smaller so let's again redo this so finally i want to check this for our tablet and mobile devices so let's go to this responsive option and switch to this tablet device here you can see everything looks okay but this rainfall looks really very busy so for only our tablet devices i want to reduce this amount so here you can see this option tablet amount if we reduce this to 120 and let's save this and if we go to our preview and let's reduce our browser width so here you can see only for our tablet devices the amount of raindrop is reduced to 120 
and like this we can also control this amount from our mobile devices so go to this mobile preview and here if we set the mobile amount to 80 okay now you can see it's also looking good for our mobile devices so that's how you can create this cool rainfall effect on your website if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video